Is this your ladies up? How long you guys been together? 24 years. 24 years, that's beautiful, nice. See, I got a clap. You made it, you're almost done. One more year, you can retire. It's like the police department. You do 25 and get a clean out. How'd you meet? How was people meeting 24 years ago? That was 2000, right? Yeah, how was you meeting? High school. High school? High school sweethearts? Nice, you went to high school, you was like, I'm not, I'm locking it down. I'm not gonna meet anyone better. This is it, it's the whole world. Huh? Hey, oh, you got her pregnant. You should have said that. Oh, I love he tried to make it romantic. He's like, I just, I just saw her and I knew that she was the one. And she got pregnant. So, that's beautiful. And you're still together. You got that mustache. That's a great mustache, sir. Where, where are you? Where are you from? Mexico. Mexico, nice. Are you, are you, are you were raised here, I guess? Yeah. Nice. We still got the stash. <laughs> Only Mexicans would pull that off. If you was a white guy, I would be like, arrest this man. I'd be like, <laughs> he's definitely had child pornography on his laptop. <laughs> but if you're from Mexico, it's like, oh, no, he's fine. He's <laughs> Are you Mexican? I'm Spanish, yeah. uh, But not Mexican? No, Mexican. Oh, okay. Well, that's not the same thing. <laughs> Your mom from Spain? That's nowhere near Mexico. That's, you're European. <laughs> Nice. What brings you to Denver? Well, I live here. Yeah, my you... dad and mom, mom met here. Your dad and mom met here? Yeah. Are these your parents? <laughs> Are you 24 years old? <laughs> what would you say about them? That's my brother. Oh, this is your brother. I love how you just threw it to him. I wasn't even concerned. He's like, talk to him. See how he met. Would you... And you're, you're Spanish too? From Spain? Yeah, I'm half and what's the other half? Black, black and Spain, black and Spanish. Yeah. Right. Who's black? The mom or dad? My dad. Yeah, go dad. <laughs> <laughs> and where you meet this lovely wife? Uh, no. <laughs> a bar? Party, party, party. A birthday party bar? Yeah. That's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Even at a birthday party, better at bar. Okay. All right. Should I just talk to you then? <laughs> <you're> like, <laughs> I, I feel like you met her at a bar. You guys are just walking up to women and speaking to them. You guys are perverts. I don't know if y'all know. That's not how you're supposed to meet women now. How long ago was this? Was this recent? Ten years. Okay, before the online dating. Yeah, it was normal then. 2014, that was when it was taken off. Now, meeting online, that's like how you gotta meet. Whenever I talk to a couple today that tells me they met their partner in person, I always feel like the guy's kind of a pervert. I'm like, hold on, you were just going up to women and speaking to them? That's disgusting. <laughs> you need to be on some type of list. I don't know who raised you, but we don't speak to women. You find them on Instagram and send them a message like a real man. I think in a couple years, we're gonna see that on an episode of Law and Order. Special victims here. Just a man walking up to women and saying good morning, and walking away. Detective Benson gonna be like, we gotta get this pervert off the streets. We don't speak to people, that's disgusting. And are you, are you originally from Denver? Yeah. What's, what's your, are you uh, just a white person? <laughs> no. no, that's fine, that's still, that's still good, that's still good in this country. Sometimes white people, they're like, I, I'm, I'm mixed, I'm like Irish, I'm Italian. Yeah, you're white, that's fine. <laughs> white people be taking ancestry DNA tests, praying that something come up. They don't want to be full white. Like, please, please Native American, I need something, I need something. Trying to get this promotion. You're not gonna promote me. I'm regular white. <laughs> was this your first? Was this your first uh, black? <laughs> you said no. She's like, no. Are you kidding me? I've been to a Broncos game. Are you kidding me? Like... You didn't know. You, you thought you was the black? Oh, uh, you because you look. You was like shocked. You was like, what? <laughs> you told me it was just me. <laughs> Of course not just you. Although you are entry level black, I will say that. I wouldn't believe it if she said that. You're like an ease in black. You know? You're like Carlton, you know, you just get ease in. Dip your feet. Some women just dive in, they go straight to DMX. They be at Thanksgiving, barking. Your parents be like, I'm not racist, but ease is it. You can't just take it. I believe it though. I read an article the other day that said 95% of white women dream about being with a black man. I completely made that up, but people always agree. That's a completely made up statistic. But even white men, 
down and I'm like, that's it? I thought it was way hot in 95 percent. <laughs> Use that. 